Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. B and this is Bailey. We have Bailey sitting today, finally. I wanted her to roll for you, but I'm not sure she'll do that, but she does have some tricks to show you. So Bailey, sit. Good girl, stay, stay. She stays really well, right? Sit. Okay, pop. Oh, good girl. And stay. These are her treats. It's like getting her a little bone. And we're going to sing a song about that later. Here, sit. Let's see. Lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Will you roll? Yeah, it's, she doesn't have enough room here today. But, okay, good girl. You can go now whenever you want or stay for us. But it's time for the boys and girls and me to start our school time. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, so here we are and it's time for us to sing our alphabet song. Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we know our A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Excellent job. Thanks for singing. Now let's do something fun with our letters. I'm going to bring over my handy dandy cookie sheet. And I have lowercase letters today. The last time I worked with the capital letters, the big letters. Today we're working with the lowercase ones. So let's see. We're, today we're going to see if, and you may hear Bailey in the background, um, we're looking to see if a letter has a hole in it. So a letter with a hole is like the letter D. Do you see a hole in the middle, like our zero? It has a hole in it. Some letters have holes, some don't. Here's the letter G. It also has a hole in it, so it goes on this side. An N. Well, there's a space, a curvy space on the end, but it is, is it a whole hole? No, it's not. How about the eye? Whoops, it fell out. My magnetic eye does not have a hole. How about E? Yes, the top of the E has a hole. It's not like the zero, like a full circle, but we could stick our little finger through it, right? So it has a hole. Does T have a hole? No, it does not. How about W? W does not have a hole. O? Of course, O is very much like that zero up on top. O has a hole. V? No, V does not have a hole. S, some curvy spaces, but no holes. How about Q? You okay? Q has a hole. And, oh, you know what? How about U? U does not have a hole. The D, the D has a hole. Oh, you know what? We have D, so we'll make this one a P. P has a hole too. How about M? M does not have a hole. Y? No hole. K? Does K have a hole? K does not have a hole. How about B? B has a hole right there in the middle. How about C? Does C have a hole? Almost, but it has that open space, so no, C does not have a hole. And then we have J. J does not have a hole. H, does H have a hole? No, it does not. And X, X does not have a hole either. And Z, does Z have a hole? No, Z does not have a hole. 
A. A has a hole right there. R, no hole. L, no hole. And the last one is F. Does F have a hole? It does not. So which side has more? The letters with holes in them or the ones without? The ones without, there are more letters without holes and less letters with holes. All right. Well, that was fun. Now let's come over here back to our alphabet song. And we have another um, song that we know that we can sing with this. So let's sing it. You ready? It's the phonics song that's from Sing, Spell, Read, and Write. And this is the chart that I have. Okay. When you learn these sounds, you'll see. Ready to read, then we will be. A, a, apple, b, b, ball, c, c, cat, and d, d, doll, e, e, egg, and fan, g, g, goat, and h, hand, e, e, inch, worm, j, j, jam, c, c, kite, and bull, bull, lamb, m, m, monkey, n, n, noodles, a, Ah, uh, octopus, p, p, poodle, qu, qu, quilt, and r, r, rail, s, s, sun, and t, t, tail, a, uh, a, uh, umbrella, v, v, face, I am nearly through, see my happy face, when I, w, w, wagon, x, x, box, y, y, yarn, say, do you see a fox? See him in the z z zoo. It was fun and now we're through. When we sing this well indeed, ready to read, then we will be. That was a great job singing along and listening. So I have a game for us to play with these letters. So I have some ducks that are wearing costumes. And my ducks each have a letter on their front that's going to give us a clue as to which costume they're use wearing. So this duck has a Z on it. Z says Z. What is this duck dressed up as? I'll hold it over here near my green sweater. It's a zebra duck. Have you ever seen a zebra duck before? So I'm going to use this chart and put it on the Z. Let's go through and find what the others are dressed up as. This one has an E. Eh, eh, an elephant duck. Good job. N, N says N. This is a nurse duck. It's a V, V, V on it. V says M for V, V, Valentine. It's a Valentine duck. Oh, this one's a little tricky. If you've been to the zoo or an aquarium, you may have seen this one. A W, W, W. Walrus, see the long tusks on the duck? A walrus. It's like a seal, bigger than a seal. Okay, what else do we have? Ha ha, maybe the hat can give you a clue. There's an S on here, S says S, 
It's a Santa duck. Good job. Oh, this one's cute. A little banana, do you have the big ears? Are you guessing already? M says, mmm, oh look, it's a monkey duck, just like on our picture here. Okay, this one's a P, 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 pirate duck. Such creative costumes. Okay. This one's an O, ah, ah. So O says ah, but the color orange also starts with the letter O. He's an orange duck. Oh, what is this one playing? It's a game with a racket. He begins with the letter T, is it the clue? He's playing t -t tennis. It's a tennis player duck. Oh, I'll give you a hint. It's like Bailey. D, D, D. How do we know? There's a leash with a tag, just like Bailey wears. It's a D, D, dog duck. Have you ever seen a dog duck before? Okay, bees. B, B. Oh, do you see the little rattle and the bonnet? It's a baby duck. Oh, how cute. Do you see the antlers? Ours. R, R, reindeer duck. We have done so many. Now this one is cute. You have to look on the top. That's an I. So the letters also, some of the letters also say their name. So in addition to it, it, like an inchworm, it's an I. It's an ice cream duck. Oh, this one's playing a game with a long stick and a helmet. And he is H, <laughs> hockey player duck, wearing a <laughs> helmet. Where is my H? Here we go. We only have a few more. Oh, how cute. Just like on our picture, the C, for k -k cat, a cat duck with some whiskers. Oh, this is an A, A, A. Do you see the helmet on this one? It's a helmet like an astronaut wears. Well, this one's fun. It's a word, it's like a clown. It begins with J, he's a J, J, Joker duck. You may never have heard of that before. The type of hat he's wearing is called a joker's hat. Oh, how cute. And again, like our picture, L, O, O, lamb duck. Okay, now this one is tricky. So it has an X. And we know that X only says its special X sound at the end or in the middle of words. But this one, a lot of words start with the letter X and then it says its name. So it's an X-ray duck. When you get, get uh, pictures at a special doctor's office of your bones inside your body, an X-ray duck. Three more. Oh, to go with the king, the Q, qua, qua, Queen duck. Two more. Do you see the pointy horn? The U. Again, U is, says its name also. It's a unicorn duck. Last one. Oh, okay. This may be an animal you haven't seen or heard of. It begins with a letter Y that says Y. Yeah. And this would be its horns. It's not a funny hairdo. It's a ya, ya, yak. Well, that was a lot of fun with all of these costume ducks. I don't have that many costumes, do you? Well, we'll need to make some room up here, so we're going to put the letters away. Good job. Now, you know what? We didn't clean up before with our letters, so we need to do our cleanup. I'll bring this board over here. We're going to use this 
for a fun game called Small and Large. So, I went looking around my house for some things that were small. Small starts with the letter S. And large starts with the letter L. So if I have two cans, which one's the small one and which one is the large one? Here's, this one is smaller and this one is larger, right? Okay, that's the cans. Now, how about these spice containers? This one is smaller and this one is large, right? Okay, we're going to play some more of these in a moment. How about my balls? Whoa! We have the small one, that's easy, and the colorful large one. Okay. How about my spoons? Small, right, and large. So large means it's a little bit bigger, sometimes a lot of it bigger. Okay, well that's easy between small and large. What if we divided again? Sometimes we have three things. Some things are small, and at the end we have large, but in the middle we have medium. So I'm going to do this. We'll make a small space here. For small, we have our large space here for large and a medium space. Medium starts with the letter M. Small, medium, large. So before, I had these two and we said that this was small and this was large. But, then I found this can. This is now the large can, and this can of tomatoes is the medium can. The small is the smallest, then we have it a little bit bigger as the medium, and even more big is the uh, large. Okay, that's it for the tomatoes in my pantry. Remember those balls? We had small and large. How about this one? Nothing needs to move. This one's medium. It's smaller than the large, but larger than the small. It goes right in the middle. Middle, medium, two M words. Okay, goodbye balls. What else did I find? I found another spoon, so let's look. Before we said this one was small, and this one was large, but now I have this one. Is it smaller? No, this can stay. But if I put it next to this one, it's a little bit bigger, right? So this one is now our medium spoon. Small, medium, large. Let's see, I think I have one more. It was the spices. And before we said small and large. Let's see what size I found. Last one. Let's see. Is it bigger than the small? Yes. But it's smaller than the large? Yes. So it's our medium, medium. Whoops. Small, medium, large. All right. That's great. We'll clean up our toys now, right? Okay. And now I'll move this around here and get it ready for us for later. Okay. We'll put away our pantry items and see what's in this bin. Okay. Oh, you know what? Do you have a magnifying glass at home? 
Magnifying glasses are fun to make things larger. So if I hold it over, how about here, the K for cup, cup, kite, you may see it makes it look larger. So it's really easy to see the print if I'm reading something that's too small. I can hold a magnifying glass over the letters to make them bigger. Let's look. So I picked, this is a daffodil that was almost all finished being a pretty flower outside in my garden. And it, I'm going to use my green shirt again. If I hold a magnifying glass, you can see the daffodil a little better. I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have a magnifying glass. How about this paper straw? If I hold it here, and hold a magnifying glass there, you can see those red and white stripes even bigger. Okay, another fun thing to look at with a magnifying glass can be a coin. And you can see the state picture on one side and our first president, George Washington's face on the other side. So magnifying glasses are fun to go exploring with and see what you can make big to see better. Now what if you don't have a magnifying glass? Well there are two things you can do at home. You may find sometimes even a regular water bottle if you look at the very top or bottom of it it may work. But let's take a look and if you play with it just right let's start with this balance. We can hold it up. It's not going to be as clear but you can still have fun making pictures bigger just looking through the glass or plastic. This one is plastic, so you might have a jar, you'll have to take the label off of it. Or if you're pl um, playing on, at the table, a glass of water, just be careful it doesn't spill. Mine has a cover on it. Okay, so let's look to see how this works. We can also check out, I'll use my green shirt again, the straw, you can see through there. Let's try and see if it works to show you the daffodil flower. Now, one that may work a little bit better than just holding a glass or a plastic jar is to make one. And it's always fun to make something. So there's only one step up here where you'll, where you'll definitely need, need a parent's help. Find a thin plastic container. This was a deli container. And your parents or big, much bigger brother or sister, I use an X-Acto knife, or they'll figure out how to make a hole in here, just a little hole. Then we'll take some saran wrap and gently place it over here, leaving a little bit of a concave cup. You put a, let it dip down in there a little bit. And then a hair, uh, a piece of elastic, a rubber band, I guess I hear a tie could work as well. And you'll pull it up so it's snug. And again, you want the plastic to dip in there. Let me just adjust this. And then you'll take a little bit of water. And it doesn't take a lot of water. Let's see, actually we can see if we need more or less water. I'm going to pour a little bit of water on here. So we need to do this over a table or a counter. And then, now I'm going to move this to here so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And then, and then a thin piece of cardboard. This was part of a cereal box. And whatever you want to look at, you can put on here if it's not something like a straw that you can just put in. So I'm going to try it and if I put my straw in and look through the water part, you'll see my object looks bigger and you can experiment. If you go higher on that hole or lower on that hole, you can look in and see if your water cup works like a magnifying glass. Now the straw goes in there. How about the ridgy part of a pencil? You hear it? There's ridges, and that's some interesting indentations that, at least for my old eyes, are hard to see. But if I put it underneath the magnifying cup here, I can see all the details better. 
Now, can I easily hold a quarter in that hole? Not really, but if I balance the quarter on my cardboard, I can slide it in and see it even bigger. And again, so you have to experiment. Does it work better if you pull your item down or up? Or if you have more or less water in your cup? So you have fun making a magnifying glass at home. Okay, it's almost time for us to say goodbye. And I thought a fun way to say goodbye is with a song. So this song uses some numbers and it's a song I learned when I was little. It's called This Old Man. And I don't, the lyrics, like a lot of songs, don't make any sense, but we'll talk about knick-knack. And when we say this old man played knick-knack, we're just going to go like this. We're going to swipe with our finger, knick-knack. You ready? It goes like this. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on his thumb with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on his shoe. I don't have shoes on. With a knick-knack patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on his knee. With a knick-knack patty whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on a door with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on a beehive. Don't do that. With a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack with some sticks with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven. He played knick-knack up in heaven with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on a gate with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine. Reach around to your back. He played knick-knack on his spine with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played 10. He played knick-knack once again with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Well, that's all for today, boys and girls. Have fun and I'll see you next time. God bless.